Hello, welcome. I wanted to make this quick video to help you understand how I calculated your final grade. First of all, I want you to know what is your final grade, and secondly, where did it come from? So the first part, the final grade, what is it? You might not see it right now on school tool. The number you see on school tool right now might just be an average of your four quarters, so there's no adjustments to it. So you'll get an email from me and I'll explain in the email all the things I did to calculate your final grade with your numbers. So you can see what your numbers are and then you can see how I use those numbers to calculate your final grade in particular. Now, where did this number come from? Now this might seem absurdly complicated, but remember why this is complicated because I was trying to create a system that encourages you and reward you for the hard work you've been putting in, especially at this bizarre time. Okay, so all of these little nuances, this is not how I usually grade, but this is these are unusual circumstances. So all of this complicated stuff, just remember, it's to help you out and acknowledge your hard work. So that there were basically four types of bonuses that I added to your final grade. Okay, now I want to explain what those are. The first one was on the con-trig assignment, and what I basically did was I went through your numbers, and you would get a half point on your final average if you reach 100% on trigonometry and Khan Academy, which is very difficult to do, so I gave you a half point for that. The second one was based on stats, and this is more of a step function, and what I basically said was for every 10% you went beyond the required 65% mastery, you get a half point, and then if you reach 100%, you get two full points on your final average. So on stats, I asked you to complete 65% of your work. So if you had done 75%, that's 10% beyond 65, that would be a half point on your final average for that year. If you did 85%, that would be two one half points or a full point and so on and so forth. For con algebra two, I gave you a half point if you reached 95% or above. So finally, let's talk about the holistic bonus. And what I mean here is as a whole, for all of your work in the fourth quarter, how do we quantify what you did beyond what was expected? So I'm looking at a holistic bonus beyond what was expected. So first of all, I decided that um, I'm willing to give up to one percentage on your final average um, for, for doing every single thing that was available. Right, so I gave you six assignments and I asked you to complete four. So I based this on percentages, right? What percent of each assignment did you complete? So let's say you completed all four assignments to 100%. I treated that as 400 points that you couldn't earn. And if you had done everything, two additional assignments, that'd be two additional 100%. So altogether, six assignments, you can earn up to 600 points. So I just thought, okay, well, you can earn up to 600 points, and that should equate to 1% onto your final average. So I, I wrote this formula, and this is how I did it for each student. If you had done all six assignments to completion, to 100% completion, that would be 600 points. And I would take away 400 divided by 200, right? 600 minus 400 is 200. Divide by 200 is 1, and that would give you 1 point. Let's say you completed four Khan Academy assignments, and I again, I base this on your percentage of completion. So whatever the assignment was, if you completed the four Khan Academy assignments to 100%, that would give you 400 points. And then if you did a little bit of delta math, let's say 50% of one assignment, that would give you 400 on the Khan Academy and 50 points on delta math, it would give you 450 points. 450 minus 400 is 50, divided by 200 is 1 fourth, so you would get 0.25 on your final average, and so on and so forth. So everyone will receive different values here, and I also made sure you couldn't lose points. So if you had done, let's say, three Khan Academy assignments and then 90% of the fourth Khan Academy assignment, this formula, of course, would be negative, right? You have 390 minus 400, so that's negative 10 over 200, right? So you get a negative fraction. I ignore that situation. This is only for bonuses, right? That's what we're looking at here. So 
that's what I did. And I suppose maybe it's still tentative. Maybe we'll find mistakes in this process. If that's the case, I'll follow up with you. But I think this will work nicely. And I think it's very fair. And I think it acknowledges um, your hard work. So thank you, everyone. And thank you for your patience. I really appreciated working with you this year. And please reach out if you have any questions. Uh, you might have only sat in my class this year, but you will always be my students. So you can always reach out. I'm always here to help. Thank you.